Okay, so we have decided to flip a coin 10 times and record all the results. Now, we want to find out the probability that we're going to get exactly four tails from the 10 coin flips. Okay, so let's use our formula, starting with n choose k right here. What is n in this case? Well, we're flipping the coin 10 times. So 10 trials, right? And k is the number of successes, which would, well, su a success in this case would be just getting tails. So we have four successes in this case. And we're multiplying that by p, the probability of a success, which is half the coin. The coin is unbiased, basically, to the power of 4 times 1 minus p, which is 0.5, to the power of 10 minus 4, which is n minus k. 10 choose 4 is 210. 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5. 10 minus 4 is 6. If we just work this out, we're going to have 20.5% or 0.205 which is equivalent to 20.5%. And that is then the probability of getting exactly four tails from 10 coin flips. All right, question B. What is the probability of getting four or five tails? Okay, so that's actually going to be the probability of getting exactly four tails plus the probability of getting exactly five tails. This one, we already know it, it's 20.5%. 20.5% probability of getting exactly four tails. But let's calculate this, the probability of getting five tails. So that's going to be 10 choose five, times 0.5 to the number of successes, which is five, times 0.5 to the number of failures, which in this case would be getting heads. This whole thing is going to work out to be 24.6%. You can check it out on your calculator. And by adding them, we're going to have 45.12% probability of getting exactly four or five tails. <coughs> Sorry, my voice just cracked. And finally, question C. What is the probability of obtaining four, five, or six tails after flipping the coin ten times? Okay, so we already have P4 and P5. Four tails and five tails. This is just going to be the probability of getting four tails plus the probability of getting five tails. And finally, the probability of getting six tails. This is the only one that we really don't know. So let's calculate that. And uh, I need to make some room for this. OK, there we go. It's like erasing a whiteboard, really, isn't it? Just in a different color, though. OK, so the probability of getting six tails from 10 coin flips will be 10 choose 6 times 0 0.5 to the power of 6, times 1 minus 0.5, which is 0.5 to the power of 4, the number of heads. Great, so 10 choose 6 is 210, 210. I'm assuming that you're very comfortable with combinatorics, combinations, and 0 0.4, sorry, 0 0.5 to the 4. And if you aren't, okay with this. I would suggest that you just check out combinatorics and combinations on our website. Great, so once we work this out, we're going to have 20.5%. Exactly. So now we can add all of these up. What is the probability of getting four tails, five tails, and six tails? Put a T over here. After flipping a coin 10 times. So we can add both these numbers and we're going to have the answer. 
and we're going to have approximately 65.6%. So that is the probability of getting four tails, five tails, or six tails by flipping a coin ten times. That's it.